I get panic attacks. Anyone else get panic attacks? Yeah? Cool. There's, I think it's kind of like a, um, a, a sliding scale of age. Like some of you are like, is he talking about mental health issues in public? <laughs> But then it's like from, uh, I would say like millennials on down, it's like anxiety is super trendy right now. <laughs> like millennials and Gen Z, they're like, yeah, I get panic attacks. Right before I take pictures of avocado toast and put it on Instagram, which I purchased with my Bitcoins. Which, I'm, but honestly, like, I, like I heard a study recently that like uh, one out of every four Americans has some kind of anxiety disorder. And my real response to that was like, what is wrong with these other three people? <laughs> like they need to get more woke to the human condition. Because guys, if you're part of the three out of four, let me explain this to you. Uh, so a panic attack generally, at least in my experience, is like this is when something innocuous, not actually dangerous happens, but you feel like you feel like you're gonna die. Right, you're like, oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Right, so the solution, right, psychologically is to tell yourself, oh no, 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 I'm not really gonna die, right? But here's the thing, you are going to die. <laughs> right, so when you're having a panic attack, that's the only time you're in touch with reality. Right, like all of us, I know, so you guys are like, this is too real. I, I, I liked it, I preferred the funny stories about the girl, that was, let's go back to that. But no, but like to be, to be here like laughing, it's like we are collectively ignoring reality. Like I, because I mean, no matter how much you acknowledge sort of like on a logical level that you're going to die, there's always that voice that's like, I don't know, I might beat this thing. <laughs> I eat a lot of avocado toast, <laughs> work out every day. Hey Internet, so obviously I think it's a positive development that people are talking about mental health in a more public way today. The video that you just saw was recorded at my weekly one-man show here in Santa Monica, California, and I've been talking about this issue of anxiety and mental health at the show for a couple months now, and I do think there's a really interesting generational difference. Like, when I bring up the topic, you can visibly see people my parents' age, baby boomers, they, they become like visibly like a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, no, I'm making a wide generalization here, but I also noticed by contrast, uh, millennials, Gen Z, when I'm like, I get panic attacks, does anyone else get panic? They'll, they'll literally cheer. Like people will be like, yeah, yeah. Like they're so excited to disclose the panic attack and mental health issues in public. But I'll close on a sincere note, if you have struggled with anxiety or panic attacks and are willing to discuss it in the comments, please do so. Because the title of this video means that a lot of people who are watching it are struggling with anxiety and they feel alone. And if that's you, I want you to know that you are not alone. Thanks for watching. We should hang out sometime.